Let's save some money, okay? I'm gonna make you an offer that you can't refuse, okay? Let's talk money. Let's talk money. <coughs> oh. <clears throat> Need to work on that. What's up? I'm Melissa Q. If you are new, just want to say what's up. Thank you so much for out of all the YouTube universe. You came and chit chat with your girl. If you're an OG, what's up? You're back again. And if you hadn't subscribed, what's up? I would love for you to be a part of the MQ, the Missy Q family. If you want to call me Missy, if you want to call me Missy Q, if you want to call me Melissa, just hit the subscribe button and yeah, I can wait. I can wait. Hold on, I'll sing one of them old mother hymns while you subscribe, okay? Okay, yeah, let's get straight into this video. Today's video, I am really excited because we are saving $10,000 in Project Pan. Project Pan was just a spinoff, but I do have some other series that is going to help us get to that goal. Yes. There's a difference. We got to be goal oriented. This is not going to be by accident. It's definitely going to be on purpose. So we are using Project Pan. We're going to use some other things and we are going to stop buying some things. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some things that I have stopped buying. Okay, so I've stopped buying it or I have very significantly slowed down. But most of these are things that I stopped buying. Oh, no. I have stopped buying backups. I know it's hard. I know sometimes we get the urge and we're like, this is gonna be the last product on earth. But guess what? In the beauty industry, there is always gonna be something better. I have noticed that. Like I was like, I was ride or die for my shade moisture deep. My high porosity deep conditioner. I was like, there's nothing that's ever gonna top this. And yes, they came with something. Camille Rose. I tried Camille Rose waterline and is better yeah I I mean I love the fact that I can alternate and I have like another option but the truth of the matter is I don't need backups and when I have backups and especially when you're trying other things that will cause your products to expire when you don't use them and you know how we are we find something new and we want to try it so other products get left behind so I cut backups out if I need it, if I need it, if it's something that I know that I'm going to run out, at least I will let it go for like halfway. I'll give you an example. Um, one of my favorite concealers is the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. Look, this is almost gone, right? Almost gone. I'm not going to wait until it's like pumping, but this is a great time that I could repurchase it, but it's not a backup. I don't have like two of these. I didn't buy them at the same time. So that's just a tip. You know, wait until it's like almost gone like a fourth gone give yourself the rule and basically these products that i am talking about that i stopped buying i'm really just trying to give like a rule for myself so i just wanted to share these with you but this is a great example so this one is going to be a good one y'all this is a good one i stopped subscribing to brands oh my goodness i already have like uh, inundated myself and when i say subscribing to to brands i have stopped allowing it to police my <laughs> inbox oh my goodness you know what it is when it's like oh my god it's another sale is going on so what i did was i took the temptation away yes I say Satan. actually starting to unsubscribe to a lot of things and when i actually need a product i know that i need it if there are brand new things i can you know see that but that's one of the things that i stopped doing you guys is subscribing to newsletters i'm just telling you this is just me saving money this is just something that i had to stop doing don't get me wrong i love still my brands and it's just that there's always a sale going on and i always have the urge to buy so i stopped subscribing to newsletters. Okay, another thing that i stopped buying is glitter Okay, how much glitter can a glam mom wear on a daily basis? I usually use glitter on a special occasion. I use it, I have I have it for my kit, but I'm gonna tell you, the Stila Magnificent Metals are genius because anybody of any, like whether you are a 
novice and intermediate or an advanced person in makeup you can use those i really really like those but honestly even in purchasing those you have to be honest with yourself how often are you going to use those and i actually picked up one of the sila magnificent metals that you'll probably see in my summer haul but y'all i'm just gonna be honest i don't need that much glitter don't i just don't need the glitter. okay so another thing that i stopped buying is eye primers it takes if you've ever done a project pan and i highly encourage you to try it i have about five or six eye primers i don't even know if i can get through that in a lifetime but i'm gonna try but i just stopped buying eye primers why a lot of times i use my concealers as my eye primer and then the eye primers that i do have um there's a lot like i have been on the same mica what is it mica beauty this eye primer right here and I'm just now getting a dent in it. I'm probably not going to even get through this the whole year. I'm going to try. But if I have five or six of these, they're just going to go bad. And you definitely don't want that to happen. But I have this. I have the Paint, Link Paint Pod. I can use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer as an eye primer. I mean, I just stopped buying this because you can use your concealer if you just have to. But if you want a primer, I would just say buy one. And when you get low, just make that as a rule. When you get low or when you see pan, go buy your okay, own. Okay, another thing I stopped buying, brands with horrible customer service enough said about that one right there are so many different places that you can purchase from you don't have to go through the hassle if the customer service is not there there are so many other brands that are doing the same thing that has amazing customer service and you get a smile a virtual smile i'm just saying just believe what a girlfriend is saying right now because i was on bed rest for like a year with both of my sons so a year with joseph a year with elijah so all of my shopping was done online and y'all your sister got you on some good customer service online. If you need to know some brands, comment down below. Let me know if some of you have come across some really great brands that have amazing virtual customer service and you don't have to walk into a store and you are ride or die for them. Make sure you list them down below. Yes, I stopped buying lip pencils and eyeliners. Now, y'all, I have a lot of lip pencils. I have a lot of eyeliners, but truly, truly. Now, there's some color eye pencils. I love the Makeup Forever. Those are my booze. And the only reason why I hadn't gotten any of the Marc Jacobs is because I have Makeup Forever. And that's just the thing. Like, how many times am I going to use color eyeliner on a daily that I don't have already? Y'all, I stopped buying books and magazines go to the library. Sometimes I really don't have the time to sit down and read a book. And if I do, like I'm currently reading Dave Ramsey's book, one of his books, but y'all, I borrowed it from a friend or you can go to the library. And even with magazines, they have online magazines subscriptions that are even cheaper than the ones that you're buying at a newsstand. Y'all, that's just, I'm just, I'm just saying, I just save you some coins. Yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this of things that I stopped buying. Let me know what you stopped buying down in the comments. I would love to know. Help us save some money. Help us save some coin. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys are stopped buying so we can start a new and let's save some coins. Okay, let's save some money. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye, ladies.